Hi, you're very welcome. And in this video, um, I just want to walk you through a very common issue that I see with, with my kind of class participants. So here I've got a scenario where I've got a list of papers, different papers with random makey uppy numbers. And for each of these papers, I want to show it as a percentage of the total. So I'm just going to go here to click on this one and go up to my trusty friend Oshosum. Click here and press enter. Okay. Now what I want to do is I'm going to enter a formula that's basically going to divide my the value for each paper by the total sales. So I just go equals this divided by this and I press enter. Enter says as always to Excel I'm finished. So it looks good. 10% and then I just copy it down. Oh, that's not very reassuring at all, is it? So the reason for this is, is that Excel, when it's copying down formulas by default, does a thing called relative copying, which means you've basically, you've given it a pattern and it just follows that pattern all the way down. So the pattern I've given it here is, I've said, take the cell to the left and then go down one, two, three, four, five, six, down to this number seven and divide one by the other. Now, the thing is that when I copy it down, it assumes that's the same pattern I want. So it takes this one to the left and then it goes down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But unfortunately, this new reference is now actually a zero, which is why we get the divided by zero mistake. So what we need to do is we need to say to Excel, you know, basically as it were, you know, pin this cell reference here, C12, okay, so, because I don't want this to change. So I just go equals this divided by this. And then the next step I do is I press F4 on the keyboard. Right. Now you might find, depending on your keyboard, that you might need to press function F4, but I'd always start with F4, top row of the keyboard first, which puts in the dollar signs. Right. And you can also kind of change that. And if you notice here, it's saying dollar C and then dollar 12. See there, dollar C, dollar C, and then dollar 12. Now you can set that up so it locks to rows or columns, but for our purposes, we're just gonna press enter. And then if I double click to copy it down, ah, now that's looking much, much better. So if I go back up here and look at the same thing again, see there, I've got my, this one divided by this one, which is fine. But when I copy it down, because I've applied the dollar signs, the C12 reference does not change. It's, you know, it's like, again, it's been sort of pinned to it. And that's it's called making a cell reference absolute or fixed. All right. Um, I hope you found this useful and mind yourself and take care. Bye.